Hi, and welcome to Premiere Literacy tutorial on text-to-audio. We're going to start off this tutorial by opening text-to-audio. You'll see it on your toolbar here. You can also access that from the Premiere Assistive Technologies menu. So, here's the interface. We've just got a simple book here, and we've got our options up above. So, we'll start off here by adding in a Word document. We're just going to simply select the text-to-audio manual. should be perfect for our conversion purposes here. As you can see we've got the output file name. If you look we've got text audio manual .wave, just preserves the name of the original file. This is the input file. That's the file we're going to be converting. We have the voice set to Microsoft SAM. File output type we've got standard wave and mp3. I'm actually going to select mp3 for here because it'll be a little bit smaller. If you're going to be storing this on any sort of device or anything, you might want, need to um, conserve space. We're going to click on the Voices tab, and you will hear the voice announced here. We are going to allow the access. If ever you see a firewall menu pop up, you just want to allow it if it's referring to the voices. We'll allow that access, and we use Kepstrel David for a voice. And we'll say OK to that. OK, so we do have a few options available here, as you can see. Um, to change the output and different other options, we can go up to the Settings tab at the top. There you see, again, our voices. We've also got Change Output File Name. So if we wanted to put that under a different name, we could do that. And Change Output Path as well. Output type is just the MP3 of the wave and you can reset the program up here as well. So um, the record segment name is going to number the WAV files based on the segment that they're in and we'll get into that feature right now. You'll see the define segment button here as well as a checkbox for segment the audio. Now what they do is they will rather than when you export it having just one WAV file or MP3 file with the whole document in it, it'll break it up depending on how you want to break it up. We'll click on Define Segment, and we have the option to segment either by bookmarks or by time segments. So time segments is pretty straightforward. You click that and you're able to set 10, 15, right up in five minute increments up to one hour segments. Bookmarks, we click that, and then we can click on insert bookmarks here and that brings us to an editor window. So if we want to maybe have this first section read to us then right before the contents we'll start a new file. Scroll through by the way I'm just clicking the mark button to put our bookmarks in there and then after the table of contents we'll put another mark in there And we'll put another one right here. So now when I save that and hit the return button, yes, I will save the changes. Now you see that the files that will be created, um, it's broken it down into multiples because we have multiple bookmarks and it's going to segment it up by those bookmarks. So if I now hit return, I can just go ahead and click on the start button here. It's currently processing. It's got our list of the files that will be created. And it's just going ahead and creating them. So this is very useful if you want to take any sort of a document with you be able to listen to it on an mp3 player or uh, just even burn it on a CD. So we'll just wait for that to convert and when that's done we'll give it a listen. So that's just finishing up our last file now. And that is finished. 
So now, if we browse to our Documents Premiere AT folder, we can see we've got our four MP3 files here, and we're going to go ahead and just start reading one. Text to Audio Manual Segment Force Read Menu. The user can hear the actual sound of the document in the same way he slash she can view the document with all the desired settings made to the file. To view and read the document, select the View Document option from the Read menu. So as you can see, we've got all of that last segment in one file, but if we look at the other files, we'll look at the first one. Notice this one, the last one is 25 minutes because we didn't really continue on with our bookmarking. But if we play the first one, It's only 3 minutes and 20 seconds, which you'll see here. It also announces the segment number at the start of the audio file, so that's useful for knowing kind of where you are in position. So that wraps up our first video for text to audio. You can view more support videos online at www.readingmadeeasy.com.